Oh no, wait. <laughs> that was so cool. That was the oh, coolest no. voice I've ever heard. It is cool. <laughs> you know, <laughs> if this thing ever comes out, no one's going to hear that. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, We're the lucky few. I want that voice as my Siri operator. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Um okay. <laughs> <laughs> if this thing ever does come out officially, uh welcome to the council podcast after a, a much, much long, long break trying to get <laughs> everything switched over. Um, I guess we have already really talked about that of a, of a sort with the whole announcement we made. So I don't really wanna go into it, I guess. Um, I was legit concerned because I thought what I said in the last episode was gonna be was gonna come true, like when I said, "Yeah, let's make this the shortest season ever." Like I didn't actually mean it. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> People probably think of that too. I probably uh, cursed. I probably cursed this podcast unknowingly. It's okay. Oh, knock God. on wood. <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> um. So I had two people with me today we have Balak. is that right Belak. Belak. i'm sorry i can't read it's late <laughs> it's all good <laughs> so we have Belak, and we also have sci-fi beatles week with us hello today. so um are we up a topic i'm still in your idea you mentioned yesterday sai we're gonna mm-hmm. talk about the brother sisterhood, uh, brother sisterhood movement that's been going on, especially around Twitter and Instagram, mm-hmm. and also with the news corner posts that we've made the past few weeks. Just talk about more of what we're looking forward to that's going to be coming up in the game. So, mm-hmm. Sai, I know you know like the more about the sisterhood than I do. So, do you want to like kind mm-hmm. of explain about it a bit? So, my understanding of the whole thing is there is, oh, I think they're both Twitter and Instagram, but I know them on Instagram. Um, they're Memento Gallery. They're really well known, and they made, like, a AC Sisterhood symbol. So, they took, like, the Brotherhood symbol and made it you know, for the sisterhood, and started the movement of the hashtag AC Sisterhood because apparently there have been execs at Ubisoft who have been claimed to say, quote-unquote, women don't sell. Mm -hmm. So luckily these people have been fired along with the uh, director, or one of the directors for Valhalla. They were all kind of in, like, the same firing pool. Um, but because of this movement, a lot of people have been talking about how it can see that that's happened. So, like, for example, the last game that had a major female character is Aveline in Liberation. And I don't remember where I heard this or how true it is, but apparently... Ubisoft has said they didn't do, they don't have any more major women characters because Liberation didn't sell well. Because Aveline's a woman. Not for any other reason. No other reason at all. I played Liberation and I can give you a hundred reasons why the game didn't sell well. I know. (laughs) I know. So, uh... Yeah, and then flash forward, you have the Fry twins. You know, Jacob is kind of there to be, like, a comedy relief, whereas Evie is the more serious one who kind of drives the story, you know, just for argument's sake. And then Aya is technically supposed to be the main character of Origins because Amunet has already been established as a founder of the Creed back in, I think it was Two or Brotherhood. Yeah, it was too. Because, yeah, okay. Uh, but because women don't sell, Bayek was created so they could have a male main character. But you can see that a lot of important things happen with Aya and it's off screen. 
like she'll just randomly appear and be like oh yeah i've done all of this and it's like huge historical moments and you're like whoa i've just been sliding down the pyramid you know <laughs> and then you also get you know the choice with alexios and cassandra i mean yeah rpg yeah people like the choice but the fact is cassandra is canon but the choice is still there you know so that's kind of arguments that people are talking about and why the movement started okay basically. right so yeah i honestly i don't know like i 100 percent support it but also because like i'm not really a fan of the whole rpg thing like when i first heard that uh ivor you can choose their gender i was just kind of like ah why couldn't it just been a woman? But, you know, the choice, I guess, is kind of cool, and I don't think that they'll go back to the old style, in all honesty. And, I mean, I don't like Aya going back to Origins. I don't think she was a very well-written character, and I think that's also another problem, is, like, some of the female characters aren't really that well-written. Like, I always compare Aya and Elise. Sorry, am I talking too much? No, you're good. You're no, good. Okay. You're good. You know a lot more than me right now, so, like, oh. you <laughs> Well, so, I always compare Elise and Aya because, and I don't know if I should say, like, spoilers, like, but it is cool if I just, like, speak freely. <laughs> um, I'll, like, put it on the screen or something, a little, skip the head to the mark or something, so. Okay, okay. So, you know, the main problem with both of them is, like, I think their entire character just revolves around revenge, and that's not really interesting. Like, yeah. Especially since it's been done several times before, right? Exactly, yeah. But also, like, a lot of the male characters are more fleshed out, you know, like... Jacob, even though he's just there for, like, the comedic relief, he's also, like, really charming and kind of funny. Like, I don't know if it's just because I'm biased because he's, like, a husband though, but, <laughs> <laughs> like, he's an interesting character that goes through a lot of emotions throughout the game. Whereas Evie just kind of stays the same. She's the bookworm and does things as father says, and that's it, you know? Like, yeah, at the end, they both kind of change, but, like, I think Jacob matures more than Evie, like, grows, you know? Yeah, I can kind of see that. I can kind of see what but, you mean. Yeah, okay. But so, like, going back with um, Aya and Elise, like, all they talk about is revenge. They have two people who love them and want to support them and, you know, if they had just listened and worked together, then they could have lived a fulfilling life together with their, like, shared experiences, you know. Because uh, Elise and Arno kind of shared the same father. Like, Arno wasn't that close to him, but a kind of stepfather weird thing. But they both dealt with the murder. I'm blanking on his name. but. <laughs> Even though Arno is just like, no, we can do it together, at least doesn't listen and ends up dying, and that could have been avoidable. And she just pisses me off. Arno deserves so much better. And then Aya was the same thing. I was so excited about Aya because I thought she was really badass. But then for the entire game, she just keeps blowing off Bayek, even though he's like, let's work together. She's like, no, I have to do this on my own. And I'm like, why? That makes things so much more difficult. Yeah. <laughs> Cleopatra doesn't care about you. And then that whole thing just could have been avoided. And then at the very end, when she's like, I can't be with you anymore, just broke my heart. And since that day, I don't like her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, I think, like, the only... I think Aveline is a good character, and I think she's, like, that and the music are really kind of the only redeeming qualities of Liberation to me, because she's punny, and 
she is resilient and does a lot of good and i really like that about her and she doesn't like take shit from anyone but you know a lot of the other characters are just kind of one dimensional i haven't played odyssey all that much so i can't really comment on cassandra but uh all i know is she's a goddess so yeah <laughs> okay so that's yeah that, that's kind of my two cents although you know i keep saying like i don't like all these female characters or no i'm saying like well yeah i do like the male characters more than the female but i support the movement and it's because i think the women need to be written better the tv show supernatural has the same exact problem all of their female characters except for like one of them are written as guys but then they're played as women and it doesn't work it's just really annoying because none of it is natural so yeah okay well that was very insightful i gotta say <laughs> I, I, <laughs> All of this goes through my mind as I'm playing and stuff, and I just, I don't really have a lot of friends to talk about this with, so, because I spend all my time doing Assassin's Creed, so, yeah. I have I a see. lot of thoughts and feelings. Like, <laughs> okay, so, I haven't played many of the games, as I've stated before, but I do have an associate's degree in digital media and animation. Ooh. In which I actually had to take a whole class about character development and storyboarding. Oh. So from like just what you've told me and things I've seen from like clips online and reviews and like gameplay. Mm -hmm. Like so you can just simply choose a character personality arc. Uh, I can't remember exactly the book we used. Mm -hmm. Um, but we took like different, I believe it was either Greek or Roman gods and goddesses. I think it was Roman gods. Mm -hmm. Um, and basically we learned like their different personalities and you can use those personalities when developing your character. And then you mm -hmm. always make sure to have certain story points for a character, their climax the top point where everything goes downhill mm -hmm. and they're at their lowest and then climbing back up and as they're climbing back up their personality changes as they grow as a person mm -hmm. and that's really something that you don't see with the women i remember yeah. liberation i remember when it first was advertised when it was still eb's it wasn't gamestop mm -hmm. yet at my local game store in my hometown and it was like, it was for the PlayStation PS only. Mm -hmm. Not not the PS3, just mm -hmm. the PS. It didn't come out on the PS3 until the Americans collection came out, which is actually my first collection I bought. And mm. my first game is AC3. Um, mm. And I played a little bit of Liberation and I got bored. So mm -hmm. quickly. I remember I was like in the swamps or something. Oh my god, don't. I have a headache. <laughs> that was like my first it was like about two hours into like dealing with running around the swamps. I'm like, okay, this is boring. Let me go yes. back into the city and be able to do those like cool disguise missions and so forth. Mm -hmm. I'm playing as like a proper badass woman. Mm -hmm. and I'm kicking ass and trying to like liberate the slaves like come on let me yeah. do that don't let me like go and look like i'm now in like florida right <laughs> yeah get a girlfriend like, the virginia area <laughs> <laughs> i don't want like, to be eaten by crocodiles please stop oh my Ooh. god those crocodiles are so annoying i am surprised i remember that because i haven't played that game since like 2016 or something i'm surprised i remember the it's a repressed memory. It is. So yeah, probably also because I'm a Florida woman. So mm, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I played Liberation through the uh, the Assassin's Creed Three remaster. Me and, too. And aside from, uh, and Liberation is one of the things that 
really make me contemplate why I bought it in the first place. Yes! Oh my god, yes! Like, Assassin's, <laughs> Assassin's Creed 3 isn't a bad game by any means. It's my favorite. It's just... There's just mm-hmm. so much that infuriates me about the DLCs. Mm-hmm. Liberation included. It just... I'm glad it came with, like, the whole thing and that I didn't buy it separately. Yeah. Because if I did, I would have felt worse. So I'm kind of like, uh, it's kind of for free. Because I, I bought the uh, remaster AC3 at, like, AC3 price. It was on sale, so it was technically the price of one game, but I was like, oh, I got two games and a DLC for free. Uh. <laughs> but it's still just Oh, the music is great, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like one one DLC is just plain boring. The other is just downright infuriating. And by the end of the playthroughs, I'm just like, which building do I want to jump off of? Yeah. Okay. Though <laughs> I I really like the tyranny of King Washington because I think it's like such a bizarre, weird, like fan fiction AU type deal <laughs> that like might inner history fangirl was like crying the whole time like you get to fight with thomas jefferson inside a pyramid in new york like it's the coolest <laughs> thing ever <laughs> yeah i won't deny that the, there's some fun to be had in the tyranny of king washington dlc it's just that mm-hmm. it feels like there is no way of getting through this without dying ten thousand deaths oh my god i'm so glad i'm not the only one what is with those guards I like, know it's <laughs> a billion pop up out of nowhere, and it's like, what the hell? Like, also, I, know you... I yeah, go on. I was just gonna say, I know you gotta die at some point during a game, but yeah, this is too much. <laughs> I know. I just want to say, like, besides that, I think uh, Hatham should have been in it. And speaking of Hatham, he's also in Assassin's Creed Rogue, and I told you guys I was going to say this. I'm going to bring up Shay. He can no! do no wrong. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love Shay Patrick Cormac, okay? I'm done. I've said my piece. Okay. Um, when they actually <laughs> just remembered um, the, like, Oh, oh, Hope! Sorry, go on. I oh. forgot she was a character. <laughs> the one thing I completely forgot about, um, Jill, just now, like, the one Assassin's Creed game that no one talks about, Assassin's Creed Chronicles, which is actually where we got our <gasps> second... Oh my god, Shao Yun, you're right! Our second yeah, female character. I just completely forgot about it. I did it. too! I haven't played them. I, I haven't w- had the chance, so that's why I forgot. I was really going to bring up Xiao Jun at some point during uh, Sai's rambling about uh, female characters. And I just got to say, there is a chance for there to be a... Like, it seems like Xiao Jun had her chance in Chronicles, and Mm -hmm. it it didn't go well, I'll admit that. But they have a chance Mm -hmm. to flesh her out more if Assassin's Creed goes to Japan in the 1500s and maybe flesh out her character a bit more. I thought she was Chinese. Yeah, she's Chinese. Oh, shit. Never mind. I do want Japan, though. Hey, you can have a female Japanese character. Do me a favor, edit that last part out. (laughs) Uh, We'll see. (laughs) But yeah, I'm... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, she was in the... No, she was in the Chinese Brotherhood. Yeah. She's Japanese, I guess, but uh, she was in the Chinese Brotherhood. Okay, I just remembered her because... Oh, oh shoot. My brain <laughs> scrambled. Yeah, I, I only remembered her because actually when I first was designing um, Emma, mm. I, I used like her colors and so forth as like, a reference. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I loved her um, in Embers. I thought that was really awesome and I wish like she would get more love like at least a comic or something that would be awesome uh please not a comic i've had enough of the comics there's too many comics no, yeah, not a comic. there not a comic. is i know but it, i don't think she's gonna get a full game i think that if ubisoft does eventually hopefully make a chinese based one i think they'll just create a whole other character because They've had a few opportunities where they could reuse characters from past games, and they don't. None come to mind, but I know they're out there. <laughs> Ezio. Ezio and, like, Origins, is it? <laughs> no. 
Let's... Um, Arata. See, I didn't want more. I remember one of those two, like, you can actually, like, have some 18 plus related actions. Guys, remember, this is an M rated franchise. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. Go to a brothel in Origins in one of the missions, and it's like the funniest thing ever. (laughs) (laughs) And like, you're not even there for a good reason, you're there for a fight because you're like picking street fights. It's awesome. I love that mission. (laughs) Oh, yeah. I remember the. uh, Yeah, yeah. What do you you call himself? The the camel? I can't remember. I'm trying to think. Yeah. Well, Ptolemy compared him to a camel. That's what it was. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. Okay, so what were you saying, Emers? I forgot. Oh. <laughs> well. Yeah, is uh, there anything else you want to mention about the AC Sisterhood? Um, I was just randomly thinking about um, the female villains in Syndicate. Lucy Thorne and... Uh, Pearl Attaway. I mean, like, I thought they were really interesting, and Syndicate was my second game, so I still, like, was really new to the franchise, but when I saw both of them, and I was like, oh my god, they're women Templars, that's, like, the coolest thing ever! Like, minus Elise, because she's technically a good guy, I don't count her. But, (laughs) yeah, with Syndicate, I'm like, that's so cool! So, I, I like them, even though they're not really that fleshed out, they're a villain, but eh. and then Hope <laughs> is eh, Hope is okay. She doesn't get much screen time either. But we all know who the best character in Rogue is. Yeah, I I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> Do not say it's Gist. <laughs> it's Monroe. Mon- <sighs> it's hate them. Of course. Oh my God! Get out. You. Oh my. God. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is the first and last time I'm on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no. I know. <laughs> um, if we if we get one more thing to say, if we get one more thing to say regarding that subject, I just want to say this. Give Xiao Jun another chance. That's all I'm saying. Yes. yes. She deserves another I, chance. I can agree with that. I really want to pick up Chronicles only to play her, to be honest. Me too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, but, Assassin's Creed Chronicles China is probably the best of the three, to be honest. Mm-hmm. They're never Not on that that's sale. Much, but... uh, it, it's oh, like 30 are. bucks. And I'm like, no! I'm not paying 30 bucks for this! That's kind of sad. Oh, um, we, um... What about Kid? We didn't talk about Kid from Black Flag. True, true. I love her. Kid. So much. Wait, Mary who? Reed. Oh, I always oh, I prefer okay. I prefer saying James Kid because I know not everybody has played it, okay. but I just kind of spoiled all of it. So yeah, Mary the okay. best. I love I'll her, put, and I would die for her. Uh, I'll put another spoiler warning in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you said kid. I was like, wait, where? When was there a kid in Black? Flag? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, nah. You guys just making my child harder. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, imagine yeah. how. Imagine how it used to be. I don't want to. Re- yeah, I yeah. love her though. I don't even want to like remember how it used to be because yeah, I re- I remember those podcast days. Holy, oh my oh. god. <laughs> um, <laughs> good times. Uh. So one thing, like one last thing, I do want to mention <laughs> is the fact that our new logo we actually did inspire it from. Um, oh no, what's her name? The artist. Oh, uh, I don't know her actual name, but on oh, Instagram, on. it's Memento Gallery. Yeah. So we actually you, in, were inspired by Memento Gallery of her artwork. And Aiden and Hydra, two of our other moderators, did work together on making our new logo to keep a Valhalla theme. While also mm-hmm. giving props to the AC Sisterhood. So I do want to just say, yay, thank you for that. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, last thing we're going to do today, um, I know our last podcast episode, we did talk about the Ubisoft Forward, I think is what, it, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. what Okay. Yeah. And all of us that were on that episode talked about 
our thoughts of the game so far, just seeing that. So over the past few weeks, we have been giving out news updates. Um, I'm sorry I haven't done one this week. <laughs> I got crazy <laughs> with homework, but I am going to make like a bigger one the following week. So um, I'm just going to mention just a few big points that we have been told so far. One of the big ones I am super excited for is cats. <laughs> you, you get a little cat mate on your ship. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Yes, Which you is, do. You do get a cat. It's like, oh my god, I'm getting emotional now. <laughs> well, it's like, um, when I found out you could pet cats in Origins, I thought that was, like, the greatest thing ever. And so the fact that they're still continuing it, but making it better, it's like, chef's kiss. Yes, like, you can have cats around your settlement that you can pick up and pet for a short period of time before they jump out of your arms. <laughs> and you also get a little cat mate on your ship with your crew as well. And uh, from yes. what I've heard, there's different breeds of cats. That part I'm not confirmed oh so on yet. But <laughs> I am definitely getting myself a raccoon British tabby cat to match mine. My sweet child. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. I'm so, going to yeah. get so many cats and name them all Desmond. <laughs> no. I just... I name everything Desmond because he oh, deserves it. You already have a corgi you named Desmond. Like, come on. I named my camel Desmond in Origins. <laughs> I. Oh, jeez. I, I feel like I feel like I stepped into the wrong podcast episode for this. <laughs> <laughs> you decided to come join, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's my fault. Um, some other things besides just cats. Um, in Odyssey, you do give a hollow armor. I'm not sure this is still going on. Oh. If someone knows if it's changed, please let me know. I do not own Odyssey, but you do get a free like DLC type digital package where you get inspired Viking armor from Odyssey. Um, I think it was a weekend thing. Oh, oh. Okay. I don't quite remember. Yeah. I, I I saw the post on the uh, official Discord, and I saw people were asking, like, oh, is this still available? Uh, but that's all I remember. Okay. So I don't know if it's available. If people find out, please tell me. So I don't sound stupid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, we've all been there. We've all been there. <laughs> I've been sounding stupid, like, all week. What do you guys, like, mean? Um, and then nah. lastly, like our two big things is one, there is another comic coming out for Valhalla called Song of Glory. It is coming out next mm. year in April. So it's going more into the female um, to prove more that she is canon, showing more Ooh. about her family. So that will be interesting to see. And then lastly, um, what was I trying to mention? Oh, no. Oh, yes. For <laughs> the collector's edition in the UK, for Xbox only, uh, you will not get a physical copy of the disc. I am not sure if you're going to be getting, like, this. I, I'm, well, I hope you guys still do get the still book case you're supposed to be getting. Uh, mm. But they do say you're not getting actual disc. You're only getting a digital code. So I don't know if this is going to change or alter anything. Of course, this was over a week ago when this was announced too. But there is a chance that people could be dropping pre-orders. So if you're hoping to get the collector's edition, this could be your last chance. Ooh. But I'm not sure. It could already be over with. <laughs> Because this was like <gasps> a week and a half ago. Out. It finally came out. Wait, what came out? I've Wars Hidden Blade it finally came out in America. <gasps> Ooh. It's no oh. longer worth UK money. Yay! Finally. <laughs> I can burn $70. Legit! Oh, real quick, I think the armor is still available. Oh, okay, cool. All right. Yeah, on Odyssey, <laughs> I think you just need to like find it in the game, is what it's saying. All right. Uh, I'll try to like put something together. Try to find information about it mm -hmm. and make a post to 
people are informed. Um, but tomorrow, because it is almost 1030 at night over here. Tomorrow is a latter day, Elder. Don't. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the musical's in my head now. <laughs> it's so good. I love it. <laughs> it's good. Um, so it is about 40 minutes. Is there anything else that anyone wants to say? Besides your um, obsession with Shay or hate them? <laughs> nope, I'm good. Uh, no, I've, oh, I've got nothing. We didn't talk about Zio. Oh, yeah. I'm going to jump off a cliff. Oh, my God. <laughs> Zio is a goddess and can do no wrong. Okay. I, okay. I'm sorry. I have a play. I'm so glad she's in tyranny of King Washington. God bless. <laughs> I think that's a good place to end it here. (laughs) All right. Um, So thank you for everyone's patience over all the changes we've been making. I am hoping that if this all works out, uh, I can get this edited and put out. We're going to be trying to have weekly broadcast or podcast again. If I can talk. (laughs) If I can talk. (laughs) We'll we'll try. We'll try it out. We'll try. Yeah, we'll give it a try. Um, Thank you, you two, for joining me tonight at such short notice of only having, like, 24 hours. Or hey, thanks for having yes, us. Yes, of course. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you all for listening to this crash fire of a mess. If this thing <laughs> does come out, <laughs> and hopefully my audio doesn't get corrupted. So hope you guys have a good day, night, morning, whatever time it is. I... Bye. Yeah. Bye. Well, I think that went well. Round of applause.